It's our new series. We're calling it Never Too Late. That's where Nate, Vlad, Tony, and I get to try something new to prove that it's never too late to learn a, note, a new skill. So yesterday, I learned how to sing, and I think you should say not learned how to sing, took singing lessons. This morning, <laughs> there's a difference. This morning, though, all eyes are on Tony DeCopel. Tony DeCopel, good morning to you. Hey, good morning, guys. I'm sorry to hear so many people have their flights delayed, but it does put them in a better position to witness what is sure to be a milestone <laughs> moment in the human history of dance. Uh, I, <laughs> I had to put on a, I had to put on my coolest jacket this morning. I have to say because uh, what you're about to witness is decidedly not cool. Uh, when it comes to dancing, I've had a childhood fear. I mean, a deep fear. It's really more like a phobia. It's not that I didn't go to dances. I, I went to plenty of them growing up, and I'm not afraid to show you the pictures. Here are some of them. I attached the roses. I posed for the shots. There I am. Great haircut, buddy. Looking really cool. Uh, but when the dance actually started, I stuck to the walls as soon as the music started. And as a grown-up, as an adult, this same fear kept me sidelined at friends' weddings and also deprived my wife, Katie, of a dance partner time and time again, although she begged sometimes to get me on the floor. I thought none of this would change ever until it did. Sorry, Joan Baez. The idea of dancing on camera, <laughs> even with you, Joan, <laughs> too much for me. Go like this, and that's James Brown. Not gonna happen, what? Sam Rockwell. I think what's being revealed here is that you, in fact, do have a talent for dancing, I like and I do not. DJ D Nice joins us on the turntables. Peer into my eyes, America. I am not a dancer. The dancing brings out anxiety and stress. It doesn't relieve it. Me personally. And I think other people feel uncomfortable too when I start dancing. So you can imagine how I felt. Hi. Hi, Jess. Walking into a dance lesson. Don't, you can't go, you can't go. You a session with go, Jessica Tony. Castro. So nice to meet you. She's danced with some of the biggest names in music, appeared in hit movies, and taken on some of the other hard cases in choreography for CBS's Come Dance With Me. I hear that you want to dance. I don't really want to <laughs> dance, but I took a quick read of my contract, yes. and I think I kind of have to try to dance. Do you trust me? <laughs> I, you know, I'm going to do my best. Left, right. Yes, yes. She yes, used yes, basketball yes. as a way in. Dribble the ball with me. Dribble the ball. Boom. And I didn't Boom. always love the process. Boom. Now point to the people. No, I can't point, point to the people. I'm not kidding. Point, point, point to the people. Point. One people. It's just not. No, All right. yes, All right. yes, All right. yes, yes, yes. Okay. You know what dance is? Honestly, dance is confidence. Move it out. But you know what Jeff. does not build okay. confidence? Step right, step right. This way? This way, step right. Okay. Seeing yourself in yeah. the mirror looking like party. this. Party starter, yes. No, no, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Hands up in the air. Before long, though, I did begin to understand the basics. When you feel like you're getting lost in the sauce, Yeah. Hey, just take it in, relax. The relax. groove, yes. the double bounce, the step touch, right. the Back. grapevine, and the rock. Yes. <laughs> oh my God, Tony, this was so good. I think I had fun. Jessica asked me to practice some more at home, and I did. <laughs> But I kept thinking about a day one problem, an issue far bigger than where to put my feet. You hear that beat? No, I hear the heartbeat. I often could not find the beat. Come, bring your hand here. Even when I was literally feeling it. Feel that vibration? Sort of. A problem we would have to address right away on day two. I think the fundamental challenge for me is not the movement, it's not the grace of it, it's not the pace, it's I don't hear music properly for dance. Right. I hear lyrics and I follow them, I don't hear beat. Don't get ahead of the beat. As I search for any sort of rhythm on that second day. It's like a stamp. Six, seven, eight, one. Four, I, it at all. Six, seven, eight. I also thought a lot about walking out. 
I, I feel like I have a childhood ear injury. But Jessica would not walk out on me. You see the tapping that you're doing with yeah. your feet? That's it. Tap. Eventually, she got my attention again with some moves to help me impress Katie. Yeah. <laughs> I love my wife. I love my wife. That's right. There you go. Her enthusiasm lifted mine. And as our last training day came to a close, We're good. some parting advice. Instead of looking down and seeing the dance in your head, come up with it and just trust in what we've worked on. Okay. Hello. But come Friday night, what I honestly felt was fear. Hi, I'm Jessica. Hello. And the hope that something would save me from embarrassing myself inside this New York City nightclub. We have a couple more minutes for that blackout. <laughs> Come on, New York City. Turn on your ACs. Remember, dance is all about what? Attitude and confidence. That's right. And we have that tonight? Yeah. Yeah. We got it. At least Katie was confident. I think you might have a couple moments. The guy is a college baseball player. He's very coordinated. He is a graceful man, believe it or not. Here we go! And once the music started to play, I realized something I probably should have when I was 17. A good night of dancing is not about the moves. It's about the feeling. And the friends. Who in this case dropped by unexpectedly. On a scale of one to ten, considering where he started, <laughs> I'm gonna give him an eleven. <laughs> I'm not that. I'm not. I'm a tougher grader. <laughs> I grade on. You're grading on the curve, clearly. <laughs> He wasn't trying to be a professional dancer. No. He just wanted to have fun. What do you give him? I would give him a nine. <laughs> I mean, nobody's perfect. <laughs> Not bad for a former wallflower. <laughs> Tony, All right. well, well done. done. All right. Well I, done. I say, Tony, you got out there and you did it. And I think that, that that to me is half the right. battle. To get out in there public, and have fun. In public, with your wife. Yes. Yeah. That was amazing. Yeah. There were a couple of times, though, Tony, I wasn't sure if you were exercising <laughs> or dancing with some of <laughs> But I think it's fun. And there's you know, Brian there in the a... studio who always has jokes and said, well, he was doing the white man two-step. Brian is white. <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot, a lot of jokes in studio. There are a lot of jokes in studio. But all kidding aside, this is hard to do yeah. publicly when you don't feel comfortable it, doing it something. It is, that it, you do. That's hard. It is hard, and, and guys, I got a whole list of thank yous here. Thank you, Gail. Thank you, Vlad, for coming out to support me. Uh, Nate, you've supported my journey through dance as well as a friend, giving me some tips. Uh, also, Jessica Castro, uh, God has yes. made you a great dancer, yes. and as it happens, yes. a great dance instructor as well. Thank you. I will always be grateful. My wife will always be grateful because now I can actually get on the dance floor. Uh, and I have to say that the, the white man two-step, it's a real thing. As long as you can do the <laughs> step touch, you're good. As it, you documented. You, it is real. No, no, and I will say this, uh, Tony. I Thank hope this guys. isn't a Gail King to human resources moment, but you got great legs. There you go. Great legs. So at least you're winning there. Who yeah, wears short we, shorts? Yeah, Tony, Tony, Tony does. does. <laughs> and we appreciate you. Well done. We're proud Bravo, of you, man. Bravo. Well done.